hey guys welcome back to another DIY tutorial so in today's video I'm going to show you how I made an invisible side pocket for my next project I'm working on okay you can also use this pattern for skirt dress anything you can think of okay so if this is something that you are interested on keep on watching and if you're new to my channel you are welcome and if you're my returning subscriber you are also welcome if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do where to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification all right so let's get into the tutorial real quick so let's get started so i have my tape row here my scissors okay my piece of paper and my pen that i'm going to use to mark down my measurement and the length of this paper i have here is 11 inches and the weight i have here is eight it's more than enough okay so yeah it's going to accommodate the length of my pocket so the first thing i'm going to do here i'm i'm going to be marking down the width of my pocket which is going to be seven inches okay so i'm going to repeat this measurement um from the top to the bottom so that i can have a straight line okay So next i'm going to get my straight ruler and i'm going to connect all this dot that i mark with the straight ruler okay so this part is going to serve as a guideline so i'm going to use this part as a guideline now the next thing i'm going to do here is to take the length of my pocket okay i'm taking the length of my pocket which is nine inches sorry the camera did not capture this part the lower part sorry about that okay so I repeat the line, the measurement twice so that I can have a straight line. So now I'm going to connect uh, this from the lower part. So now that I'm done from this part here, I'm going to be levering, uh, I'm levering it, okay, sorry, it didn't capture, the camera didn't capture it, but you see what I did. I marked seven inches, that is the width is seven inches, the length is nine inches, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to mark the width of my pocket opening. So the width of my pocket opening is going to be 5.5 inches. If you're on a bigger size, I will advise you to use 6 or 7 inches. It depends how big your hands are. I'm going to be using 5.5 here. Alright, so I'm going to mark 5.5 inches. That will be the width of my pocket opening. So now that I've done, I mark the 5.5 here, I'm going to go ahead and mark 0 0.5 in, in, inch inward, okay? And also I'm going to mark it at this upper part here. So this 0 0.5 inch that I'm taking is automatically, I'm adding a sewing allowance from this part, okay? So now that I've connected now, I'm going to also connect this part like this so that you can see the picture clear. So now that I'm done from this part, the next part I'm going to move on to, first of all, let me level it, 0 0.5. So the next step that we're going to do here, I'm going to come to this side here, okay? To this corner part here, I'm going to be marking, or yeah, I'm going to mark three inches upward. I'm going to mark three inches upward sorry the camera i didn't capture the lower part here yeah, so you know i'm going to be marking the lower part now so from the this lower part i mark 2.5 inches okay let me go over again from the lower part here i'm going to mark 2.5 inches and then from the side part here i mark 3 inches okay so i'm going to get my french curve rule and connect all this part that I uh, mark. I will connect it from here to meet up to this point where I mark the three inches from the two point five inches 
meet to the three inches so from this side here i'm also going to connect it from this side here to meet to that point where i mark the 2.5 inches okay i hope you understood this part so i'll connect it this way and stop there so the next step now i'm going to move on to the side here and i suppose you draw this line like so but i was a bit skeptical i wasn't sure what i should do because i mark one inch by the side okay so i i connect this part like so but later on when i checked and i realized that it's going to be too open i have a tiny hand my my hands are not that big so so i have to size it size my hand in and i notice that there are so many space by the side so i have to come back again and we adjust it by this side as you can see how i paste my cuff rule okay so i connect it back again so the next thing I, i'm going to get my scissors so that we can cut so while cutting again i wasn't sure I still went back again to that same line I'm like okay well i later trim that up though so i'm going to cut out all this part the unwanted part that i don't need okay so one good thing I, I love about pattern making a pattern you can be using it for your next project like when you are doing if you know that you are going into a magic production that you need this particular pattern the good part is that you just keep re re uh, reusing it without you going back to remake another pattern. So that is one thing I love about creating a pattern, you understand? So now that I've done with all this, I'm going to level this bad pocket so that you all can know exactly what I'm working on, okay? So um, I'm going to be using this pattern to cut out four pieces. When you are cutting out your pocket you're going to cut four pieces of this okay so my pocket pattern is ready to be used okay okay so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy watching this video if you do please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also help me share the video okay thank you so much once again for watching i will see you on my next project okay this particular red one is going to come first and then the second one is going to be on the blue material okay yeah stay tuned